A writer in residence at the University of Otago has won New Zealand's top prize for children's authors and illustrators. Barbara Else was recently named the winner of this year's Storylines Margaret Mayhe Medal and she joins us to talk about it. Good evening and congratulations. Thank you, Rebecca. What does the accolade mean to you? Well, at first it meant weeks of feeling absolutely stunned and having to keep the secret. <laughs> that was very difficult. Mm. But um, when you look at the lineup of the previous winners, you know, it, it really is daunting. They're all people whose work I've admired for a long time and it, it really is hard to believe that you know, they've taken me up into that lineup. Mm. How long have you mm. been writing children's books? Oh, I started writing many years ago and, and I wrote for children as well as adults. Um, and then for quite a while I concentrated on, on work for adults rather than children, but over the last um, seven years or so I've been concentrating on novels for children. Mm. Yeah. What, got you, what got you started? Oh, well I was always interested in how stories got put together. Mm. Uh, even as a child I was really intrigued by that. And I uh, finally got to a point where I thought, well maybe I did try it myself. Mm. And some stories are very definitely ideas that will work for adults and others just ask for the, the, the playfulness um, of a, a child being involved, you know, the, the sort of things that interest children and the, the things they question about um, life, the universe and everything. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> now you've also edited anthologies. Tell That's us about right, that. That's right, yes. Um, well, I, I was asked to edit one children's anthology for Random House, uh, 2002 I think that was, and uh, I, I just loved doing that and, and it led to um, a whole series of um, I think eight all up. I uh, really enjoyed that. Mm. What else have you done in the field of children's literature? Well I judged the Children's Book Awards twice. Um, the second time I wondered why, I'd forgotten how hard it was. <laughs> 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 but each time I just learned such a lot. and. Mm. and and it was, was wonderful to see the range of what was being published in New Zealand that mm. year. Uh, yeah, wonderful work. <laughs> Tell us about your residency at the university. Oh, I'm working on a new novel for children, the 8 to 12 age group. Um, it's very much darker material than I've worked with before for that group. Um, so it's going to be important to to bring a lot of humour into it and, and make it make it entertaining. Mm. Um, and uh, in the end, I hope um, make children think about some things, but but not in a way that's at all preachy or, or, or patronising. Just to you know empower them in some way through humour as much as anything else. Mm. Mm. You know, you've been here in Dunedin for five weeks. Mm. How long will you be here for? The residency is until the end of July. It's a six month. Mm. Stint. Um, How are you finding the city as a place to work? Oh, I love it. I really do. I've got quite a long history of being in Dunedin. I was a student here myself, but at the moment, as I walk into the office at the College of Education each morning, I'm you know, filing through crowds of students on their way to or from lectures, and, and they're so they're so busy. They're so you know industrious. Um, it's a side that isn't often in the media and, and it's just you know, it's just really exciting to mm. think you know I used to be here as one of you and now I'm here as something quite different. Mm. <laughs> it's, it's really cool. <laughs> what is the most challenging aspect of writing a children's book? Uh, keeping, keeping the energy level up in the writing, um, rule of thumb is one, for me anyway, is one exciting incident or one darn good joke each mm. page <laughs> to keep them going. Um, and to keep on their level and to keep the humour subversive in a way that children will find interesting. Mm. Uh, you know, what do children really think of adults, <laughs> the adult life? You know, some of, the, some of that is, is, is great fun to work with. Winner of this year's Storylines Margaret Mayhew Medal, Barbara Owls, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Rebecca.